On Cinema at the Cinema, the top show in movie criticism today. The newest and hottest, most innovative film cinema commentary review program on the web. To be able to share my expertise with you, the viewer, is a blessing. Welcome to On Cinema at the Cinema. I am your host, Greg Turkington, longtime guest, first time host, and hopefully host on many more episodes to come. Uh, today, we're talking uh, about a couple of movies with our special guest, a fellow film buff, a uh, fellow film expert, Mr. Larry Terman. Good to have you here, Larry. Happy to be here, Greg. Yeah, it's nice that Tim found you. Uh, I guess you work at a local university? I run a master's program at USC Film School, yeah. Okay, so you see a lot of movies. Less now than I used to when I was your age, but yeah, I see a lot of movies. <clears throat> well, it's good to have you. Today, we're talking about a couple of new releases. These are foreign films. Tim usually doesn't like to do them, but he's given me a couple of them here today. The first one that, uh, that we checked out was The Girl on a Bicycle, directed by Jeremy Levin. Uh, it stars Vincenzo Amato, Nora Tertioner, Patty Considine, international cast. They're, they're no Harrison Ford, but they'll do. Yeah, and these are actors I'm very familiar with. So it's about an Italian tour bus driver in Paris who proposes to the love of his life only to have a young French beauty pull up beside him on her bike. He soon finds that his life is turned upside down as he tries to contend with loving both. So sort of a menage a trois, as they say uh, in foreign films very frequently. Um, I love the movie. I, uh, you know, it wasn't a Bond movie. I'm kind of a Bond head, as anyone that watches this show knows. But uh, it had its charms, and I would give it five bags of popcorn. What do you think? I don't like it as much as you. I give it. I only gave it three bags. I'd give last year's film, uh, Woody Allen's film. I gave that five stars. Last year's film. Last year's uh, Blue Something. Blue something. I it was damn good. We actually had, uh, not Woody Allen, but we had Joe Estevez on the show to talk about uh, Woody uh, Allen. Do you and want that to that talk about movies or personalities? No, we're interested in talking about movies. Actually, this season on our show, we've had a little bit too much personalities, and I kind of want to get back to the real roots of the show, uh, which is film criticism. So let's see how you feel about our second film, Endless Love, directed by Shauna Festi, with Emma Rigby, Alex Pettifer, Gabriela. Wild, and it's about a privileged girl and a charismatic boy who have their love affair compromised when their parents try to keep them apart. This is a, a fun movie, um, a little painful at times, I found, but uh, I still would give it five bags of popcorn. Jesus, you're yeah. some critic. Fun, but painful. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, you know. We were hoping you could say a few things about this week's popcorn classic, which features our, our hero, Sean Connery, Mr. James Bond. Uh, it's called Medicine Man, and Lorraine Bracho is in it. Well, I don't know if, you, if you've seen you this one. And what for me? My memory can't crank this well, one it's in. It's hard to forget an a, a unforgettable movie like this, and I, I saw this quite some time ago as well, but I do remember that uh, it was sort of an instant classic at the and time. And you're a purported expert. Well, I do. I mean, I know, I know my stuff. I wouldn't say purported, that's the kind of thing Tim might say, but I would say, I think I'm an expert. I'm, I've seen uh, <coughs> this actually kind of shows my expertise in that I've watched now, well now we're up to 127 movies that I've watched. These are, a lot of these are classics, some of them aren't classics, but it doesn't matter, it's more uh, about uh, seeing them all. And, and I really want to see things I think I'm going to like, that I think are, and I think I'm going to like those that are good. Mm -hmm. Well, I only love good ones, too. Nobody loves a bad movie. Fortunately, they don't make a lot of bad movies. They make a lot of good movies, and that's what makes it such a fine art. It's not like uh, music where you have a lot of bad songs. We seem to disagree, so I don't know what to say about that. You have to love movies, I think, to be in this business. Well, you should do what I spend 40 years doing, making movies. Well, you know, I, uh, I don't think I'm really qualified for that. I think I have Whoa, a lot of... Whoa, you're talking like you're qualified. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That and doesn't that's what guarantee I've been trying to tell that you Tim. are qualified. I just said you're talking like you're qualified. Definitely more than qualified to talk about and more than qualified to see them and to host this show. And uh, hopefully there'll be more can, opportunities wait, in the future. Can we pause for a moment? What makes you qualified? 
Well, I have one of the biggest video libraries in the state. I've been collecting movies for the past 15 years, and uh, I've got one of the, this is, this comes from my library. This is my coding system. We have so many movies, you can't just put them on the shelf and find them. You have to have a system. This is a brilliant system. M stands for the first, that's the first letter of the title of the movie. Five is the number of bags of popcorn I give this movie, five bags. Nine is the decade that the movie was released in, the 90s. M is the first letter of the last name of the director, in this case, John McTiernan. 14 is the shelf number, and then 30 is the tape number on the shelf. So it's a pretty big archive. It's a pretty hey, historic archive. Now I'm impressed. You are an expert in, fi in filing. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have you on the show and, and have a peer here and really give people some expert opinions. If you watch this show for expert opinions, finally uh, your time has come because I think we really covered it all. The guy who uh, normally hosts the show, he shows up and takes his shoes off and shows people, uh, you know, welts and things on his leg or picking at scabs and things like that. That's his idea of film criticism, is bringing in acupuncturists and quacks and things like that. We're done. The lights are off. We're finished here.